Hi guys! So it's been a while that I haven't done any videos. Um, yeah, I was just busy and my mom is here and my little nephew is here so I've been really really busy with them so I didn't really have a chance to like try out new things and all that sort so basically I want to talk about this Maybelline BB cream uh, to be honest with you I don't really believe in BB creams I, I just don't well, not really. I never tried them, to be honest with you, because when I went back to my country, there's an Egypt house, and there is a very good BB cream on it, and when I tried on it, I found the shape is so much lighter than my natural skin is, so it just make everything look unnatural, so it just put me off, since I never try it. So, last week, I ordered something from ASOS, or you would probably call it ASOS.com, and... Uh, when I open my package, there are a few things in it, and I found this little samples of BB cream, and this is from Maybelline, and I think this is called Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream, and there are the three samples in it, and uh, they come in light shade. But I think it's coming four different or yeah, four different shades um all together. There's a light, light medium, dark, and the one that's called Universal Glow. So I didn't think much of it, but I just want to try something new, you know? So I said, Oh well, well what is there to lose? So I'm gonna try it on. And I try it on and I, the first thing I noticed was that it's, it's a little bit white on my skin when I put it on. I was like, oh my god, when I go outside in the natural sunlight, this is going to be too much. But I was wrong. After I put it on and then I put my translucent powder on the top and my face just lit up. And bear in mind that I have uh, acne scars here. And it doesn't cover as much. It just makes it looks like it's your skin, but it's just more blurred out and more brighter, and it's not totally made up look. Because at the moment, I'm, the foundation that I am using is this um, Mac Pro Longwear. Uh, the staying power as is called Pro Longwear, it is brilliant in staying um, power, but the color is terrible. Terrible means it's giving me a terrible grayish hue every time I put this on. And I hate this. To be honest with you, it's just, the last thing you want to do is to make your face look like it's wearing a mask. So, but it's nearly finished, so I'm, I might probably go back to mineralized finish or something like that. But I won't be buying this again, but I just have to use it. Alright, so uh, what I will do is I'm going to put this on. At the moment, I don't have nothing on my face. I just take it off. I just come up from work. So I just I just came back from work. I take everything off. This is my face as it is. I'm not going to put a moisturizer on, but you can put a moisturizer. But bear in mind, this is very moisturizing. So if you have a kind of like oily skin, probably you don't need a moisturizer after you put on... Sorry. After you put on your um, toner... You should be able to put this on straight away. So I'm gonna use one of this and I have purchased the full package anyway but I'm gonna use this because I have it. And uh, I think it's retail at $7.99 in boots. So I think it's quite worth it to be honest with you. Okay so there's quite a lot of uh, products in there but Right, okay, so what I'll do, I'll drop it on onto my brush. This is a Samantha Chapman's Dibbling Brush, it's a brilliant, brilliant brush. I'm gonna do a review on this pretty soon. Okay, first, I'm gonna stipple this on. I won't buff it in yet.
don't need to put a lot on my forehead because um, you don't want it too white but don't worry as soon as you buff it in it will disappear so this is one layer I still have a lot left but I'm gonna I'm not gonna use that okay so after I done this what you will probably see you might not be able to see it in the camera because I don't really have a good camera I'm just recording this on my iPad you will really see a glowy type of thing on your skin is happening or I'll I usually do I don't put on the powder straight away I'll just have a fluffy top like such as this and I will dab on the product okay it gave you more you know proclaimed finish okay that's that and then I'll put on my uh, powder and this is another product that I found it very amazingly good um, this is from Ramel um, let me quickly grab a powder I'm really sorry I just keep doing this okay and this is a clear complexion uh, face powder from Ramel and this only cost me like four pounds and I normally use this uh, Studio Fix powder from MAC and the last time I went and buy a powder and I said oh you know my foundation is too wide so I want to balance it out I said I'll take NC42 that will take the like you know greenish hue off and I bought it and it was too dark and it is really dark and you know once it's set onto my skin it just make me look really dark and I am kind of disappointed that the MAC uh, makeup person recommended me to buy that it's just a waste of money but anyway so I needed a powder and I needed a translucent so I went and bought this and I am so impressed with it you know it's four ninety nine, and it does the job brilliantly it doesn't break me up like as I said it's a clear compression powder and it was brilliant so I'm I'm gonna buy this again okay so and then I'll put a translucent powder on the top Alright, one thing is really important is after you put the powder, don't buff it in straight away. Alright, like dab it on first and then you can buff. Such as this. I use a flat top brush from ELF, it doesn't matter if you have a different type of uh, brush. You can just dab it on first and then blend, yeah? such as that pay attention to your nose this is where you're gonna get oily okay if you ever have an oily skin like me touch up is something you must do the whole day so always have your powder ready and a trouble brush handy okay so that's it done and I'll just follow up with my brow and my eyelids, such as etc. etc. So I'm just going to show you a close up. You can still see my skin, but it's just blurred out. And I found this so refreshing to use it every day. And you know it's just not your face is not made up at all and it's really useful when you are going out and you don't want people to think you make too much effort just to see them and it's like your face is just glowing and I think it's perfect so I would really recommend you to try this it's only eight pounds and you know what's there to lose if you don't like it you can just use it for your hands or whatever um, the reason I said that, there is a, a different, um, well supposedly it should give you a benefit. Uh, the first one, it should create a natural glow, complement skin tones, 
so it should adjust with your skin tone. SPF 30 UV protection, it hydrates you all day, blurs imperfection, like I said, it's just your skin is more blurred out. Oil free, non greasy, it definitely doesn't feel like oily at all. Even um, just on your T zone, this is even you use an oily like skin and if you use oil free stuff this is something you cannot avoid you're gonna feel it anyway and but this one doesn't feel like it, it feel very light on your skin all right looks visibly smooth maybe not necessarily feels fresh yes it does feel fresh it doesn't feel happy like very heavy on your skin at all so like I said if you don't like it, you can use it as a sunscreen because this is SPF 30. It is a very good sunscreen. On top of that, um, you know, it's a BB cream, so it's like a oops foundation. Um, so if you go on the internet and look for a review for this BB cream, some people might say this is not nothing like a BB cream. This is like a tinted moisturizer. Yeah, fair enough, but. I don't like the BB cream. BB cream is way too heavy for my skin and you know I don't, I, I don't want to just slap it on and cover everything up. That's not what I want to do. This is perfect for me. So if you need a foundation for more cover up day, more made up day, you should definitely have something like this for everyday use, you know. So you can just put it on lightly put a powder eyeliner and then you're good to go so I'm really happy with this and I would recommend you to give it a try and I didn't get paid with this you know I bought this so whatever I'm saying now is just my natural experience so enjoy it give it a try and let me know how it goes thank you